Have you ever wondered how Elsa froze all of Arendelle when her powers were never that strong before? Stay tuned because I'm about to go over that. But first, my dear family members, I want to know what your favorite season is. So, I was at Disneyland watching their Broadway quality production of Frozen, and it occurred to me that it's really bizarre that Elsa is able to freeze all of Arendelle. I know, I know, Elsa has ice powers and she's in this heightened emotional state and all that, but we went from Elsa struggling to fill one room with snow mounds to Elsa building an ice castle, making sentient snow people, almost making her sister a permanent sculpture, and freezing an entire city country? City? Exactly how big is Arendelle and how much of it did she freeze? Oh well, let's just say a lot and move on. The important thing for this conversation is that Elsa's powers leveled up by a billion and there's actually a really good reason why. Morning bird poop. No, seriously, fight the urge to click away and hear me out. My daughter Kyrie has gotten obsessed with birds ever since Jaden Animation got her bird. And as someone who could take or leave birds unless they're finches, I suddenly know so many weird things about this stranger's bird. It started at VidCon where my daughter was counting change so that she could buy an Ari plush. Then I was voluntold to watch every video about this bird. And you wanna know the one thing that really stuck out in my head? The story about Ari the Bird's giant morning poops. I'd show you a clip, but I'm not gonna get myself copyright claim to talk about defecation. But apparently most birds develop this thing where they go to the bathroom a lot during the day, but at night they don't go to the bathroom at all so that they don't leave any droppings for predators to find and then eat them while they're sleeping. So when these birds finally wake up, they take the equivalent of like 40 poops at once. <sighs> The YouTube translation bot is probably loving me right now. What is going on with this freak? Let's hide this video, it's gross. Okay, so birds can take really gigantic dumps. What does that have to do with Frozen? Well, I'm glad I asked. If you watch my video from 2017 about the origin of Elsa's powers, you already know that the book King Agdar is Reading talks about how a drop of moonlight hit an Arendelle royal on the head and gave them ice magic. So point blank, Elsa's powers came from the royal bloodline. That means we have two ways to look at her magical abilities. One is that her powers are like a muscle and you have to use it and train it for it to be effective. Otherwise, you never get stronger, the muscle will atrophy, and you it just won't work anymore. And that could be a factor here, but honestly, I don't think that's what we're seeing. Elsa has zero problem summoning her powers on command, even if she doesn't know what those powers will be. For instance, she seemed to be planning out her castle building in a very intricate way, but she seemed to have no control over freezing her kingdom. It was just like an instinctual reaction. Or if you rather, and I do, her morning bird poop. And as gross as that is, it really really does help explain why Elsa's power level got so high. I mean, what happens when you don't go to the bathroom? Well, it's not like a muscle where you either use it or lose it. The waste is just there in your body. It ain't going nowhere. And it's just gonna build up and make you feel worse and worse until you eventually have to let it go. Accidental pun intended now. And after it's built up so much, it's gonna release all at once in this awful, horrible mess. <laughs> this is such an elegant picture I'm painting for a Disney princess theory, isn't it? But really, I think that's exactly the kind of thing that happened with Elsa. She'd been suppressing her powers for roughly 15 years, and even though some of it leaked out here and there, like when she got really emotional and froze her own bedroom, she never did anything to purposefully cast off that magical buildup. So she only had to lose that one moment of control during her coronation party and Boom! The entire nation is under an eternal winter within a matter of seconds. She was holding it in and then it just slipped out and got all over her country. <laughs> Ew, freezing McGann, shame on you. Really though, it's kind of disgusting to think about it in this context, but it fits so well. Elsa was magically and emotionally constipated because she wasn't using her powers or proper social interactions that every human needs to thrive. So the one second she wasn't guarding herself, everything slipped out. 
without her consent. Just because she had been holding in everything and creating this mounting pressure cooker for years. If Elsa had just snuck off into the mountains every week and made all these snow mounds everywhere, she probably wouldn't have been able to freeze Arendelle. Self-care is important, guys, and it matters in every aspect of your body. It might not be reality, but oh gosh, please don't let this video go viral. I cannot have this be my most popular theory. Don't watch this guy. <laughs> I don't know what to do for derps today. Um, probably something from Frozen. That would make sense. First of all, I'll just kind of draw attention. This is the 30th anniversary Ariel doll. She is limited edition from the Disney Parks Diamond Castle collection, which is supposed to only be in the parks, but you can actually get her on the Disney store too. At least you can until they sell out. Hashtag not sponsored, but come on, Disney, help me out. Uh, the only reason she's in this video and not one of my mini, mini Elsa or Anna dolls is because I'm about to return her because she came all busted up at the top of the box. I'm not going to highlight it because this has not been my normal Disney shopping experience. But yeah, the back of this box is all torn up. There's like scuffs and tear in the top of the plastic. It's all like bent up up there. Like somebody tried to open this and then returned it. So not okay. But Disney store says they're going to make it right. I'm going to give them a chance. That is all a whole bunch of nothing that doesn't matter. I just thought I'd throw that out there. I've been frustrated about it today. So I'm letting it go. I'm having my emotional revelation with you guys <laughs> because I don't think that I have any friends. All right. Let me stop complaining and start derping because let it go was something I already did in my last Frozen video. So what do I want to do? Born of cold and winter air and mountain rain combining. This icy force both foul and fair has a frozen heart worth mining. So cut through the heart cold and clear strike for love and strike for fear see the beauty sharp and clear split the ice apart and break the frozen heart oh i am so bad with low stuff like it sounds good when i sing along with it but yeah mm. Not my specialty there at all. Thanks for hanging out with me at the end of this video, guys. I know it gets a little bit weird since it's all unscripted and singing stuff and whatever, but it's just kind of my time to hang out with you guys and unwind a little bit before the video ends. Plus, it really kind of tells me who watches to the end and who doesn't because the people who are like, oh, hey, I heard you singing or why are you singing or that sounds awful. Don't do that ever again. I know how far you made it. The people that are like, my favorite season is fall and then they don't say anything else. I suspect you don't make it all the way to the end, but I could be wrong. I don't know, guys. I mean, I'm in a mood today. I feel like goofy and angry and just talk to me. I'm so lonely, but I'm gonna let you go. Bye, guys. <coughs> 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 <But> <coughs> <coughs> no, seriously. No, seriously. Fight the urge to click away. Click... <coughs> No, seriously, fight the urge to click away. No, seriously, fight the urge to quick. No, no, seriously, fight the urge to click. Click. Okay, so birds can take really gigantic dumps. <laughs> Well, family members, we're almost done, but I want to invite you to hang out with me in some other places. I'm on Twitter and Instagram as my own personal self, and I have a Facebook page too, but I mostly just post photos over there. And sometimes people say, hey, McGann, I want to mail you something. How do I do that? Easy. Just click the About tab on my channel page, and my most current P.O. Box info will be right there. I also run another channel, The Family. It's really a hodgepodge channel where we might post anything. Oh yeah, and I also sell shirts and stickers and stuff with the family and the fangirl logos. If that is your cup of tea, I have a link in every description of every video. Finally, if you want to help out the fangirl channel and make sure I'm putting out video essays for years to come, the best way you can help is by subscribing and watching more of my videos, whether they're new, old, whatever. Maybe even share one or two on social media, help spread the word. People who watch to the end of videos like you helps to tell the site, hey, this is a good video. We should recommend it to other people. So if you made it this far, leave me a comment of something like, hey, I made it to the end. Love ya. See you next time, family members.